In this video, we are going to continue with the sum of an arithmetic series. You will find this on page 57 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. An arithmetic series with first term 12 and common difference d consists of 23 terms. Given that the sum of the last three terms is five times the sum of the first three terms. Find the value of d. Okay. So, this is the formula to find tn. So, if I say the loss, multiply by five on the smaller side to balance the equation. Okay, I want to just take a pin. And I want to take red. I want to show you this statement. Um, we're first in 12 and common difference D. We're first in 12, okay, consists of 23 terms. Given that the sum, sum of the last three terms is five times the sum of the first three terms. Okay, so the first three terms, the last three terms. Because there's 23, 22, 21. First three. One, two, three. Okay, but this is the sum of the last three terms is five times. So this is five times more, but because I put the equation, I must put the five on the other side so that the two sides are equal. Okay, and that's what I explained there in the white. So basically, I know the first term is 12, and then it's 12 plus d, 12 plus 2d. Okay, now if this is 23, so it's n minus 1, so it's 22d. And then this is 21, this is 20, and there's the A. Okay. Now I just simplify this, and I get that my value of D is 3. And then the sum of the value of D, the sum of the first 17 terms. So sum. Okay. So I just substitute the values. There is just a printing mistake. Can I just show you the value of A? Can you remember? The value of A, where the first term is 12. There must just be a 12. The answer is correct, but that was just a printing mistake. Okay, so I substitute D and the 17 terms. I substitute the 17 and my final answer, if I work this out, will be 612. And that will be the sum of the first 17 terms. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number one. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start with number one. An arithmetic progression with 19 terms has first term A and common difference D. The last term of the progression, this is very important, is 52. And the sum of the first five, can I just underline here for you? Um, and the sum of the first five terms added, this is very important, to the sum of the last five terms is 310. Okay. So basically, I say um, with 19 terms. This is very important also. Okay. So show that the sum of the last five terms will be 5a plus d. Now, remember, if there's 19 terms, I think it's good and let's just make it A. Just want to get my pen correct. If it's 19, then it's actually 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it's the sum. So add, 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 add. And that will be Okay, and that they want the expression in that. So, if this is 15, remember to find a term, it's Tn equals A plus bracket N minus 1 D. So, I leave A and I just fill in N, and I have N, it's 15. So, it's 15 minus 1, so it's 14. So, basically, this will be A plus 14 D. Can you see? Plus this one, 16 minus 1, so A plus 15D plus 
a plus 16d plus, and I'm just going to write it here, a plus 17d plus a plus 18d. Okay, and if I add up all of that, so therefore, because it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so it's 5a plus, and if I add all of this, I will get that 18d, and that's how I prove it. Okay, now they say calculate the value of a and d. Now, I just want the sum of the first, uh, um, first five terms added to the sum of the last five terms. But what is the first five terms? So let's first get the first five terms. So it's T1 plus T2 plus T3 plus T4 plus T5. So that's going to be A plus A plus D plus A plus 2D plus A plus 3D plus A plus 4d. And if I'm going to, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so it's 5a, 1, okay, so it's going to be 3, 4, 5, 6, and that's going to be plus 10d. Okay, but now, now, I'm reading it again. The sum of the first five added to the sum of the last five, so there's the first five, that's the last five, it's 3, and now I form my equation. So basically, I'm going to say the first five, this is the first five, the sum, plus the last five, and that will be 310. Okay, so it's 5a plus 5a, so that's going to be 10a plus 90d, it's 310. Okay. Now, let's just see if I can simplify that. Yes, I can. So, I can make it divide by 10. Can I just divide 10? So, it's going to be A plus 9D is 31. And that will be my equation 1. Okay. Now, I need still another equation because there's two variables. But let's read always. If you're stuck, start reading the question again and see if you missed information. So an arithmetic progression with 19 terms as first term A and common difference. The last term, so here is the other, that's 19 terms and the last term is 52. So basically it's saying to you, let's just move this, it's saying to you that T19 is equal to 52. Okay, so it's going to be A plus uh, um, 19 minus 1, so 18D equals 52. And that will be my equation too. And what will I do now? Let's just move it off. I will solve equation 1 and 2. So, okay, simultaneously. So basically, I'm just going to now just rewrite that. Um, I can keep it in white. So it's A plus 9D equals 31. It's now green. Okay, I'm not going to rewrite. I'm just going to multiply this with a negative, a negative, a negative. So this will cancel out. A 9, so this is negative 9D. And if I'm going to cancel this out, this is going to be negative 21. Okay. So if I divide, so divide, negative, divide. So therefore, D is equal to... And now it's just a fraction, so it's 2 and a third. Because it's 21 over 9, the negatives cancel. 3 can go in 7, 3 can go in 3, and that is 2 and a third, basically. Okay, and now I must just get my value of A star. 
So substitute d equals 2 and a third. And I think in equation 1, in equation 2. So let's just go back to equation 2 and move up a little bit. So it's going to be a plus 18, 2 and a third equals 52. So basically it's a plus 42 equals 52. So therefore a is equal, if I subtract, to 10. And what was the question? Let's just read the question again. Um, calculate the value of A and B. So therefore, I want to take the red. Therefore, A is 10 and D is equal to 2 and a third. And that's how we do it. A third. And that's how we do it.